G'day, we're going to have a look at how we can record everything that's happening on our desktop and then sharing that. I'm going to start with a Chrome extension called Screencastify. Uh, it's a good introductory one. It just needs the Chrome extension installed and then you're pretty right to go. So you'll need to go to your web store again or you can use the link that's been provided to you. It is called Screencastify. That's that one there. I'm going to add that to Chrome. We're going to add the extension. And so you can see it downloading down here. All right, it then what tells you that it's been done. A couple of shortcuts there for you. You can look at your options. All right, so you can have it go directly to your Google Drive. All right, it'll go into a folder called Screencastify, and then you can move from there if you need to. Um, if you're wanting to sort of go that extra step and do some editing and something like iMovie, then you'd need to put it on your local device. Um, I'll turn that on just so that... Uh, it says video edit progress. I'm not sure the free version gives you edit progress. Editing rather. Uh, you can change your settings here. All right, that all looks okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and close that. And go back to my home page because it looks prettier. All right. So to start recording your desktop, you simply need to hit the extension here it will launch the recorder for you because i've told it i want to go to google drive it's going to make me sign in so we'll go ahead and do that i'll ask some questions so i'll ask for permission for your camera microphone and for the drawing and annotation tool so you go next and allow and allow All right, that's helpful. All right, then we need to click that icon again. So that other step should have just been the one time. So you choose whether you want to record within the browser tab, whether you want to record your desktop or whether you want to record with your webcam. So this would be another way to do one of those talking head videos. Uh, you can have your microphone on or off, depends on whether you're going to narrate as you go. I'm gonna go for desktop for now. Right, just take note, it is a five minute limit with the free version. So this would be for fairly quick explainer videos, or perhaps if you're doing quick feedback to students and sort of showing them what you're doing as you go. So you hit record. Um, okay, it's asking, I've got two screens, so it's asking me why I'm doing that, All right? All right, and now we're recording, and so we um, do what we need to do. We hit that button again to stop recording. And hit the stop button. Oh, I'll skip the tour for now. All right, so that's saved automatically to Google Drive. I can then share that directly to Classroom. So that's an advantage if you're only planning on doing short videos. This is great for that. Uh, you can push it directly to YouTube. Uh, I'll talk about YouTube in another video. Uh, you can download it, you can export it, all that stuff. All right. And so to find it in your Google Drive, it creates a folder called sorry, Screencastify and there's my collection of videos and some of that I've been tooling around with. Um, yeah, so that's Screencastify. You can then sort of chop the if you've had a pause at the start or you've let it run too long at the end, you can set your trim points and make it shorter. 
All right, and then you can save the trim or you can... All right, and now we're recording. No, we'll stop that. Obviously, if we open it up in the editor... But there we go. I'm not allowed to. If you have the 14 day trial, I can. I've had my trial for a bit too long. So I can't edit the video uh, or I can trash it and I can rename it as well. So it's nice for short videos if you don't need too many bells and whistles. All right, that's Screencastify.